happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Ready Waves by Todd if you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Eaton FR250. This is an AM FM shortwave portable emergency radio. I picked this up new in box for a total of $20 on eBay. It represented a cool value. I figured I'd give it a shot. I have the FR200. I was pretty impressed by that. I was wondering if the higher model numbers equal to a better radio. So we'll give it a shot. Here's the box, FR250. The box is a little beat up, but the radio in it was brand new. There's a picture of the radio, got it in silver. Eaton, reinventing radio, sweet. Some side profile pics on the box. There's the bottom, got some contact information. I'm not sure when this one was made. This is 2005, so this is uh, almost 15 years old. Wow. Okay, on the back here, Got some bullet points. And from shortwave, hand crank generator. We'll talk about all the features. Pretty basic setup. Some dimensions. What it runs on. Okay, and there's the back of the radio. Sweet. So that's the box. Took everything out of there, make it easier for us. First thing, I'm gonna lower this camera down. Uh, I got a bag of parts. I was like, what is all this? I didn't recognize anything. <laughs> I kind of figured it out. So. This is your output cord to charge uh, external devices. <laughs> it's, it's not USB. Um, so it's interesting, you plug that in the radio and this goes away from the radio. Then you plug this in. Now, nobody's gonna have one of these, I don't think. This might be an Nokia, a Samsung, a Motorola. Just not sure, because this is from a bygone era of flip phones. But you plug this in here, you plug it into your phone, and off you charge. <laughs> so maybe somebody out there has made one with a USB fitting, that'd be perfect. But you can see they give us a variety of charging type elements here. Like, what is that for? <laughs> it's like, it's a cattle prod. <laughs> but you see, I came with all these little adapters. There you go. All right, off those go. <laughs> yeah, we'll be using those. Uh, next, it came with the original bag. Of course, it was brand new in the box. It had everything there, which is nice. It's got a Velcro. Oh no, this is snaps. Nice. I like that even better. Uh, so you got your carrying strap. It's got tucked in there. Everybody would go in there. In the back here, you got a little pouch. And the pouch is jammed. Something here. Reventing radio. Oh yeah, cool. So I had this with the uh, FR200 where they talked about the different radios they had for sale. So you can flip through and see what was going on. In 2005. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. That's kind of cool looking. That's 350. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, they have some neat styles. These are all neat color photos. Oh, look at that. Flip top. Was that a CD player? Detachable speakers. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. We got some shortwave radios. Yeah, there's a bad boy. Cool. Nice. So you get the idea. Um, what's this one here? E5. Oh, that's a nice radio. I think I have that. Or do I have the G5? I don't know. What, what's the E5? Eaton 5, I guess. That's cool. E10. It looks like a PL660, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right. So, yeah, you get the idea. Fun stuff. They really had a lot of cool radios back then. I don't know if they'll ever bring them back like this, but I do enjoy it. Oh, here's the different... Uh, like, this is the... What is this one? The 300? Yeah, FR300. It's supposed to be a step up from the one I'm reviewing right now. It looks like they ditched the shortwave and went with TV bands. Yeah, that's useful. Not. <laughs> and then we have his shortwave. And of course, I'll show you the FR200. There's multiple colors. That was their probably their most their bread and butter radio. What's this one right here? There you are. Okay, so let's go ahead, ditch that. Spend too much time on that catalog, but it's fun. All right. Here we go, user manual. Um, do we need it? Nah, I don't think so. Does it have anything in the back here? Anything important? Using the siren, how to use a siren. That's good. <laughs> when you're limited warranty, I don't think I have that anymore. And there we are, okay, pretty basic stuff. All right, throw that to the side. Let's get to the radio. 
cool thing else about the radio, it had the original uh, connect the battery thing inserted in the battery compartment, and it was disconnected, and the battery still works. It start takes a charge, which is amazing. Okay, it came in bubble wrap, which is awesome. And here is the radio. All right, do some measurements, a little size comparison. So dimension-wise, we are six and three-quarter inches wide, six inches tall, and a case depth of two and a half inches. That includes the back here to the front selector knob here. Give you an idea. Okay, so let's bring out, I have to bring this back up. I got my FR200 going side by side, and you can see the differences. Because the FR200 is a really cool and very popular radio. So there you go. The thing I like about the FR200, one is I like that plastic speaker grill. It might look cheaper, but I think it's more durable. This has like a metal, this looks more premium, but uh, this will probably dent over time or something if it had a lot of abuse. I'm careful with my stuff, but typical household, it'll probably get dented. <laughs> um, this does have continuous coverage. Uh, Short wave one is goes all the way down to three point, is that two? All the way up to 7.6, all in one band, which is really nice. This one here only goes down like I think 5.95, and I'll show that to you. This doesn't have as much shortwave coverage if that's a thing for you. If shortwave is what you want in emergency portable and you want to buy an older radio like this, go with the FR200. And I believe this was made by Pan uh, Panasonic, no, by Texan. And I think this might be made by Texan also, I'm not sure. But I took this apart, it said Texan on the PCB. So there you go, that's the FR200. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got, uh, here we go, CC Skywave, a bit of size comparison there. There's our time, in case I forget, 1022 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're going to do a little shortwave scanning with this radio and some medium wave hunting. I've noticed that it's very sensitive on both. So there you go, we get a general idea. And I don't know if I have my deck of cards. I don't see it. So we'll use CC Pocket instead. CC Pocket in the house. <laughs> So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about features and then we'll get to tuning this radio. All right, so the FR250, let's see what you got. Uh, we got a power generator on the side. Now these are really nice. I've noticed like on the FR200 and this model, cranking this is really easy. And I could spin this no problem, no fatigue. It feels like it's uh, well-made. It's probably one of the better dynamos I've ever used. And I'm not a dynamo fan, so but this one here, not a bad deal. Uh, on the front, I'm gonna lower this back down again. It's breaching up. Okay, on the front you'll notice right away some LEDs. We have two on top that are white LEDs and one on the bottom that's a red LED. And we control it by the switch here. So it's in the off position. We have light and then flasher. So light, turn this way. It's like a blue white light. It's not very bright. <laughs> like I say, you use this little light to find your better light, you know. You're looking for your, your better flashlight. You definitely want to uh, <laughs> use the little one to find the better one. So there's the little little flashlight built in the front, which isn't a bad thing. So you can read your dial. You can cup it like this here and read the dial at night. That's kind of nice. I'm get a little flasher. I don't know if it's somebody's attention, I guess. There you go. All right, so our band uh, scale here. If you look on top, it's got all these bands, FM, AM, and shortwave 1 through 7. You can see how it's broken down. We have 88 to 108 on FM. AM is 530 to 1710. And you can see shortwave 1 is 585 to 640. And you can see how it's broken down in partial band segments. Some people might be upset by that. But I noticed that most of what I'm going to listen to is there. And it's actually easier to tune when it's broken up this way. That's just my opinion. But having full coverage is a good thing too. Uh, here's a band select switch. FM, AM, shortwave. There's the light control I just showed you. Blue, flasher. Here we have a switch for the siren. Um, I don't think it's too loud, but I'll cover this. There we go. <laughs> Pull over. <laughs> uh, shortwave band selector. So we're on one right now. We're just leaving on one, but it goes to seven. Cool. Uh, here we have a really cool tuning knob, same as the FR200, uh, where you have coarse tuning and then you have fine tuning, which is nice. So the, outs the inside wheel here is fine tuning and this outside wheel is coarse tuning. Here we have a switch to turn the radio on using the internal rechargeable battery or your dry cell batteries, and I'll show it to you in a moment. It's kind of nice. Here we have volume control, separate, beautiful thing. Side of the radio. So if you notice, it's got a cool black and silver uh, color scheme. I do like that. Top of the radio, if you didn't see that, that's LED to show you you're charging the battery. That lights up. 
as you spin this dynamo like a madman or madwoman. <laughs> there you are. Here's a nice little carry strap. I like that little leather strap with the little bit of canvas material. Some metal hooks there. Got the back of the radio, and we'll get this going here. We have a little carry grip there. We have an antenna. This antenna is a whopping 26 inches, which is really nice. Uh, by the way, the speaker in the front behind that metal speaker grill, I was estimating at about two inch to two and a half inch, maybe even in between two and a quarter inch speaker. Just give me an idea. On uh, the back at band coverage there, uh, we have a headphone jack, which is actually pretty neutral. I noticed on FM music, uh, AM and shortwave, it was neutral. There was uh, mainly just mids, not a lot of highs, not a lot of lows. Um, good for shortwave listening and good for sports and talk. We have a DC input of five volts to charge the battery. So if you can get an adapter made with a pull negative outside the sleeve positive and a USB could probably charge the battery internally, which is nice. There's your external phone charger, which you'll probably never use with this radio if you're buying these. Uh, here in the battery compartment, it's pretty simple to open up. It's hinged and captured. You'll notice it has a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery pack, which is easily replaced. They make these, they still make these, similar to a cordless phone. Uh, and then you have your optional three double A's. We're going to run on three double A's. I didn't feel like spinning my dynamo since I don't have an adapter made to charge the battery. So we're going to use the alkaline batteries. But there you go. There's your polarity. If you need to see that uh, top row of batteries, positive to the right, bottom battery, positive to the left. There you go. There's a little diagram right there. You can zoom in and see. All right. Let's fire this thing up. Well, actually, I got to talk about FM reception, then we'll fire it up. Okay, FM reception report. I always go over this. Um, I do it on a five-star basis, and I'm just going to get right into it. It's average at OK to Good, which is a two-and-a-half-star rating. It found 50 stations, which every almost every analog radio I've reviewed uh, and done these tests typically get about that rating. This found 50 stations, so just slightly above the 48 average. Um, FM selectivity was OK to Good also, yeah, giving me those stations. So overall, a bread-and-butter FM rece reception on this radio. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little audio test, and then we'll cruise the bands. So we'll turn this on. Now I'm using an FM transmitter 2 from Seacream. And I got it hooked up to an MP3 player, playing YouTube royalty-free music, and we'll see how it works here.
shoot in FR 250, 350. I want to add numbers to this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, it does a pretty decent job on FM. Uh, definitely good reception. That ex excellent uh, antenna on there. So let's go ahead and turn that stuff off and we'll get onto shortwave, see what we can find on shortwave band. So we're going to go ahead. I notice my, uh, this thing hasn't been used in 15 years, so it makes a little popping sound here at the bottom of the band. So if you hear a click or a pop, it's my tuning wheel. It's binding a little bit. I tried to work it in. I think it might be better. So we're going to start at the bottom of shortwave one. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook up a little wire. I have this little tiny 12 foot wire hooked up to my window here inside the blinds, inside the house, not external. And it's from a PL380 Texan radio. I'm just going to clip that to the antenna mast. So this gives us a little extra reception, especially when you're indoors in a basement. So let's see if we can put this on here at the second segment. It's a little better spot. So I'm just going to clip this here. Give us our reception, put this down. There we go. So we got our wire hooked up. Let's turn on the shortwave and see what we can hear. So of course shortwave, we're on shortwave one on there and turn it on. And these are fine to me. Already picking up some. will be destroyed by fire and the earth and its works will be laid bare you know we have seen the recent destruction of these amazing artifacts and pictures and works of art here in the last day or so and uh, listen not to discredit the sadness of that event that has happened in paris for it is pretty clear for a shortwave station but can i say to you today even those things will also all one day be I'm telling you, because I think there's some uh, people who look at it and think, well, do you really believe all this? Mm -hmm. 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 Todos los días abrir nuestros ojos y encontrarnos con la creación. LRA 36 tiene una frecuencia de 15.476 kilohertz en la banda de onda corta y en 96.7 megahertz. The characteristics of the world economy that was the economic dimension of the modern world system in the colonial period, the structures of which, for the most part, are preserved in the neo-colonial world system. The world economy contains all the economic activities. The peripheral regions of Hispanic America and Eastern Europe A transmission. I'm not sure where that's come. Pretty. I think that's a distant transmission. Mm -hmm. 
development. It goes through the You see, brains of the world at this moment are trying to seek to find a way to bring all the nations of the world into one government. Ooh, lots of religious broadcasts going on there. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and stop it. Sure, we have one, but there's quite a few, and you can see what you can pick up there. Do a little close-up again of the dial, give you an idea of the coverage. Is actually really easy to tune. I like it, and there's a lot of activity, so I'm glad to hear that. Well, let's go to AM where it's at. So let me go and turn this down. We're going to go to the bottom, and we're going to disconnect our wire. What is it we do on the medium wave now? I was test a little click. I don't think it's bad. There's the areas again. Usually it's at the lower part of the band here. Um, but I think it's just a little bit of binding in the tuner. Hopefully it doesn't uh, have an issue. But I haven't had noticed any issues besides a little click. So we'll go ahead and retract this antenna here. Get out of the way. And then we'll do medium wave, uh, which is really good. Similar to the FR200s. Um, it's probably got the same circuit. So I'll go ahead and turn this up. And put our in. There we go. Starting at the bottom of the band. I mentioned I'm near Chicago, Illinois. That was the time, 10.37 p.m. Central Daylight Time. It might go fairly quick here since we don't have much time left, but that's a CHLO, Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles. They say it's 250 watts. I'm thinking it's got to be a little higher than that, but uh, that's what they advertise. Five forty there to Jackson, Wisconsin, WAUK, seventy miles away, four hundred watts. There's not a single factual piece of information that the Democrats have put out there that the media. This is five sixty. The answer, Chicago, WIND. Let, let me close on this, and we're talking to Mount Boyle. This is from Emerald Robinson, White House Chief Correspondent for OAN. There's a the Gulf States was up 12 points. That's why Mount Boyle is going the wrong way. <laughs> to pay off that mortgage however you wish and so if, if you as children want to pay off your mom's mortgage go for it right now there yeah, could be a uh, gift tax issue. Could be 620 wtmj milwaukee so with giving your mom that much money all at once Deserves a big celebration. And as a proud Canadian business, Boston Pizza wants you to catch all the hockey action on the big screen. The life of the crowd, the thrill of the game, and appetizer and drink specials. Hockey season is here. Boston Pizza, St. Clair Street near Cinefix. Okay, I was waiting to get call letters here, but this is CFCO, Chatham, Ontario. Canada, uh, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. That's what's actually included. No appointment needed. Okay, it's coming in pretty good. That's WSM. That's uh, 650 uh, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. And we'll look at the dial accuracy. We'll bring this up. Dial accuracy is pretty good, showing you're pretty much in the middle of 600 and 700 there. Not bad. Good to see an all analog radio. There's nothing like tuning an all analog radio. It's a beautiful thing. Getting a little bit of uh, 660 here. WFAN out of New York City, 750 miles. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. saying they were sorry that I felt that way, and they closed my account. I had a zero balance. <laughs> I'm going backwards. Todd Burn. <laughs> but when, you, when they ended the game, the Cubs. I was wondering. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Six seventy the score. WSCR Chicago. Frustrated fans. There were no more than about seven thousand at Wrigley for that game. Host of the new podcast ESPN Daily. Available now wherever you get your podcast. Your favorite station. Now on your smart speaker. Just ask for TSN 690. Just like all major league teams, we're taking ours on the road. Listen every Wednesday as Tony Marinaro, Chris Nylon, and Sean Campbell broadcast from Montreal Auto Free. 5800 Code de It's no hold barred. With the okay, CKGM 690, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. Pretty cool hearing the... Uh, Station ID, sort of there, not really call letters, but uh, station ID and a little bit of where they're located. I go the right way here. 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. System in Illinois, Northwestern Memorial. WGN, Chicago, 720. At the jam at 7:40, CFZM Zuma Radio, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always a treasure to hear that. comes in, so they still get zero percent in. WSB 750, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Well, on this radio program, um, what Munchausen? W, WJR Detroit, Michigan. It's about uh, 270 miles. That's a disease or illness or sickness on a child. Making it all but impossible for Britain to leave the EU. WBBM Chicago. The 31st 780. With a deal. The British government. <laughs> as well. Fasting is important. Here you go. Write that down. Dad. Go a little quicker here. Look all around. She spent 30 minutes looking around. Couldn't find it. Other Japanese have never seen anything like that, and they, they hadn't. This is 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. My gosh, it does, you know, that's the trio. You can come and cling on. In the life of the person, we'll see if certain strategies can be installed. Often, it's an amenagement. A lot of volume, which is nice. CJBC 860, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles again. Utilizing just these therapies of mindfulness, what we call the pain conscious. Yeah, I got the black eyed kids, they follow me around constantly. WWL 870, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. I've been in two major accidents and walked away with nothing. So you have black eyed kids stalking you? Is that what you're saying? They just gave them extra money. They just gave them extra money. On essaie de mettre des choses comme ça en place. On voit qu'est-ce que ça donne comme. I went backwards. What the heck is wrong with me? going to notice, right? So <laughs> I literally tell people. I'm going to go up the band here so you can hear the sensitivity. Many people. Flynn's has the largest inventory of where they need to go. Interesting, like they're little. I don't respect. Oh, damn. Man, do not know the peace. I'm Judeo Christian teacher. On Twitter. Campaign. A little quicker. Getting. Lots of stations here. The FISA court, criminal matter now. This radio will tap out at 1700. 68 win year. 
Yeah. That'll be their plan. There you go, KBGG, Iowa City. I think that's a couple hundred miles away. 280. Nice. All right, there it is. Quick little band scan, but it shows you capability of this radio. It's amazing with medium wave. So final thoughts on the FR250. Um, yeah, if you don't necessarily need the this coverage here on the short wave and you you want something a little different looking, uh, this has a slightly better light because it only has, it has two LEDs versus one. Um, if you want like a premium looking radio, I know it lacks the weather band, which is, eh, you know, what are you going to do? But for 20 bucks, it's a solid analog radio. I'm pretty happy with it. And as an emergency radio, not a bad thing because the dynamo works. And it also charges the battery internally, which is really good. I'm pretty happy with that. So as a value for 20 bucks, yeah. And if you get it in mint condition like this, it's definitely worthy pickup. You saw the shortwave action was great on here. Medium wave action is awesome. And the FM is about average. I'm loving this radio. So definitely recommended buy. I'll have links below for you guys. So if you want more uh, videos from Eaton, let me know. Subscribe at the bell icon. And of course, three comment below. You think about the FR250. Would you add this to your collection or would you rather just have the FR200? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.